Hi, I'm Romy, artist in residence for Bobby Brown, and I am going to show you my very, very favorite essential brushes. Brushes are, you know, obviously one of the most important things for a makeup artist or just when you're doing makeup at home because it really can turn you into a pro and it will make your products work better for you and really perform the way that they're supposed to. So I'm gonna show you my very favorite essential brushes. I'm going to start with the concealer blending brush. I like to use brushes maybe in a non-traditional way. I love, of course, for concealer, this brush gives you precision, but it's also amazing for cream eyeshadows, for eye glosses. I love the flatness. You can even edge something out with concealer. It just takes you right there. I even use it for foundation because I don't want to over foundation the the face. So it gives me that kind of precision and lightness and helps me have restraint with my makeup. My second go-to brush is the Ultra Fine Eyeliner Brush. I love this brush for so many reasons. Again, I like precision, so I prefer smaller brushes, generally speaking. Of course, you can use it for your gel eyeliner. You know, you can dip in there and kind of just get that sharp edge. I like to use like a shimmery shadow or a shimmery shadow stick, and you can use it to kind of give a little bit of like a fine shimmer shadow stick, but it's still soft. You can use it to do detailing in the inner corner with a, with a really shimmery shadow, and you can go right in there. It really allows you to get into all those places. The next brush that I love is the Eye Blender brush. What I love about this brush is not only is it great for obviously, you know, you can blend out shadow if you're doing a really shadowy look. It's great in the crease of the eye if you want to do that, that kind of socket. But it's also my, I would say like my one favorite, favorite, favorite use for this brush is for powder because I don't like to over powder. I like just to kind of get into these areas and you see how it kind of just can sweep you can even just roll it and just sweeps under the eye it hugs the curve of your nose it gets under your chin and it kind of just lets you powder the face without over powdering the face so moving on besides my three essential 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 loves i love this angled shadow brush again if you're trying to do you know, an eye where you're kind of going into part of the crease and you want to do shadow on the outer corner. This, I love an angled brush because this really takes you there. Or if I wanted to do like a soft shimmer under the, the lash line, this also can take you there. I love the full coverage touch-up brush. This is great when you want to kind of blend your concealer and soften the lines so that it gives you this kind of airbrushed quality to the skin. It almost helps you to kind of give you that like, she's just been retouched vibe without actually using a filter or using a retoucher, right? Another brush that I love is the angled face brush. This is amazing, not just for, for, for if I'm doing a blushy look. I love it with bronzer. I think it's amazing to kind of get into that hollow and then kind of blend it out. Um, it's great for the jawline. So with all these essential tools, Brushes are your best friend. You have to take care of them. They are an investment, but they are so worth it and will take your, your makeup game all the way to the next level. But you have to take care of your brushes. One way to clean your brushes is to use Bobbi Brown's Brush Cleaning Spray. It's great for quickly taking the product out of the brush. It's especially useful for when you're using the ink eyeliner or anything that's a little bit stubborn. It really helps kind of break down the product. Another way is the conditioning brush cleanser. What I love about the brush cleanser is it is conditioning. It doesn't dry out your brushes. You wanna use it, rinse it, and then lay it on its side. I hope this was helpful. I love talking about brushes. I can't live without mine. And just remember to take care of your brushes just the way you do your skin.